there are nuggets of beautiful truth for every sufferer embedded in Acts 17. Paul is in Athens, he's discussing the nature of God with Greek philosophers who didn't think God was knowable, and so he's defining who God is. And he, he says that God has determined the exact place where we will live and the exact length of our days, and he does that so that we can reach out and touch him because he's not far from each one of us. Now think about that. Often when we think of the sovereign control of God over all things, we think of that as being one of his big transcendent qualities. Paul is actually preaching the theology of imminent sovereignty, that the way God exercises his control is that he is near. Now think about this, that this one who is in control of all the things that I'm not in control of, and oh, by the way, that's what suffering reminds me of. Suffering reminds me of how little control I have over my life, and sufferers all feel like things are just out of control, and part of the fear of suffering is the total lack of control. He said, oh, no, 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 no. Your life is not out of control because the one who controls everything is not only in control of all those things you're not in control of, but he controls them in such a way that he's near, so at any moment you can reach out and touch him because he's not far from you. What a beautiful truth that the ruler of all things is not somewhere on a distant throne. He's actually in the room with me. How amazing is that? So at any moment in my need, in my weakness, in my fear, in my doubt, in my discouragement, I could reach out and touch him. What a picture of God's magnificent love. Even his sovereignty is exercised in a way that it demonstrates how much he loves us.